excited about the word and excited about, yeah. about our Lord and Savior. So <laughs> it's, it's good to be excited about that. Yes. So let's bow our heads as we go to the Father in prayer. Father God, we just thank you for this opportunity, God. We thank you for this appointed time, Father, that you have ordained, Father, that you would give us this opportunity and this honor to be able to share your mysteries with the people, Father. You want you want them to know about you, and that's the wonderful thing about you. You are you are almighty. You're all powerful. You're all knowing. You are the creator of the universe. But you are relational. You want to you want to fellowship. You want to connect, God. And this through your word, God, we just want to connect with you. We want to connect with you, and we want to connect the people to you, God. Oh, Father, we thank you for having your way in and through us on this night that you will be glorified, Father, that the light will be shined upon you, Father God. And we thank you, Father, that we all, that you will allow us to always remember to point the world to you, Father. We don't come for any type of show or any type of vain glory, but it is all for your glory, God. And we just thank you, Father, because you are with us, Father, and where there are two or three gathered together in your name, you are in the midst, and we acknowledge you. We acknowledge your greatness. We acknowledge your sovereignty in the midst of us, God. Oh, our God, our Father, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Oh, God, we thank you for you truly are the only God. There's only one God, Father, and another one we will not follow. We will not. It, we will not allow to come into our midst, God. Oh, we thank you. We glorify you. Oh, God, we thank you. We glorify you. We magnify you. We honor you. We bless you. We lift you up. Hallelujah. We give you the highest praise for you are the true and living God. There is no falseness in you. There is no deception in you, Father. Oh, Father, thank you, Father, for just, just showing you how your character your, how much you love the people and, and in your character of how much you you 
you want the, the best for us, God. We thank you, Father, that we can hope in you, that we can we can trust in you, Father, that we can we, we can lie down and our sleep can be peaceful because we know that you are watching over us, Father. So we walk by faith and not by sight, Father. So yes. those there may be some that are hurting, God. I thank you, Father, for touching their hearts, God. Let them know if they would cast all their cares upon you. You are willing and ready to accept those cares and to heal them and to and, and, and to bless them and to love them. So I thank you, Father, for what you're going to do in and through us again, Father. So have your way be glorified in Yeshua's name we pray. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Are y'all ready? Uh, are y'all ready? Are y'all ready? Are you ready? Come on. Share, share, share this out. Share yes. this out because we want people to be blessed. And we're going to be talking about what time it is. Passover no time. time. What time is it? We want to keep you on time. Mm. We, the timing of Amen. God. Passover or Pesach in Hebrew. And so we just want to get dive on in. And so I'm going to train. I'm going to just give the reins over to apostle and let him just go in <laughs> man uh when i tell you that uh, this is such a time to really be excited uh mm -hmm. and truthfully so uh we are coming at one upon one of the uh yes. times that one of god's windows of heaven are open yes. uh, and uh, it's open in such a different way uh that we're going to get into that and I'll tell you guys, it was so hard. When I say it was so hard, I had so much information that I wanted <laughs> I to uh, pour out on today. And Holy Spirit right. is like, dial it back. Come on. We got, You're going to wind up we, giving them too much right, and it's going to just kind of confuse right. them. So I yes. said, he was like, do the ABCs and the one, two, three. Yes. And then as we go, we'll yes. gradually add to it and give more to it. And I was yes. like, God, I thank you for that because I would have just gave them just an overload much, because, you know, we've been doing this for years. This mm -hmm. is not something that has just came up overnight. And I, when I say years, I'm not talking about two or three. I'm talking about 10 plus yeah. uh, years that we have been doing this yeah, and just Lord really going before the Lord. And we were just happy that he opened up our eyes, man. If, if for a time mm -hmm. such, such as this, this. Such a time, such a and there were people that were around Jesus whose eyes was not open. Jesus was there and they did not accept him. Mm -hmm. Jesus was walking among them. They could have touched him, but they, their eyes were not open to what was happening. And My I said, God. God, I just thank you. Yes. I just thank you that, uh, you know, I'm not so caught up into certain things that I can't accept the revelation that you're Ooh, giving, hallelujah. that I can't just accept uh, the Ooh. fact that you're sending me what is called a life preserver. Mm -hmm. You ever been drowning mm -hmm. and then someone throws out that oh, life God. preserver to you? Mm -hmm. Then it's just like you're so grateful and we were just drowning uh, just in sin in all our type of ways. And then he sent Jesus. Come on. Come on. Hallelujah. He sent him. He sent him. He sent him. And when he sent them, it just changed the game. So, mm -hmm. as we said that we know that this coming Friday, we are coming upon Passover. Yes. Pesach. So, however you want to pronounce it, yes. what works for you. I know that a lot of you are familiar with Passover. And I remember when uh, starting, up, starting off as a kid, uh, it was called to us the Last Supper. Right. So, it wasn't called Passover. Uh, and that was our focus on it. When Jesus basically spoke to his disciples and and you know, told us some things and mm -hmm. watched right, their right, feet. Right, and, right, right. You know, it was a lot of things that was happening, mm -hmm. uh, and they didn't understand truly what was going on, mm -hmm. even though they were uh, true Jews. Yeah. That, you know, they didn't understand uh, in the capacity mm -hmm. of what was happening before them. But I'm here to tell you that our eyes are open. Yes. Thank you. It's no longer the Last Supper. Right. The Last yeah. Supper huh. was a Seder. The pre pre yeah. It was a Seder. It, we call it the Great Shabbat. Yeah. So, you know, we come together and we have Shabbat and we remember, mm -hmm. you know, Jesus and we remember God and we remember his blessings and we say, thank you, Lord, for all that you've done and thank you for blessing my past week, but I'm looking forward to even a greater yeah. week. But this one right here, 
is the great Shabbat. This is like the Super Bowl yes, uh, on, of, like of, of Super Shabbat Bowl. because of what it entitles and what what happens. And this did not start when Jesus did it. They were doing this years before. This goes all the way back to Egypt. So yes. during Egypt, when you go to the 12th chapter of Egypt, that was the first pass. So Exodus, I'm yes. sorry. Thank you. Thank you, <laughs> Thank you for helping me out. I get so excited. Yeah. But when you go to Exodus, the 12th chapter, it talks about the first Passover. Yes. And God showed them and he told them what to do and how to set it up. And he was like, you're going to do these things and you're going to get this lamb and you're going to bring this lamb into your house. And this lamb is going to be without spot or blood. Blemish. And then he talked about the fact of them not getting, you know, more than what they can eat yeah. for that time. So they were told to just get enough. And if right. they had more, then they would give more to see we are blessed to be a blessing. So right. if you had more, then you were uh, you were told to bless someone else yes. that did not yes. have it. Amen. So, okay, I'm Ooh, not going to go deep. I'm not going to go deep. That's good. But <laughs> this was the lamb. This was uh, uh, setting up mm -hmm. what was to come. It was uh, uh, the prequel mm -hmm. to what was coming down the line through Jesus and what he yes. was going to do to solidify come that on. thing. And see, this had to be done every year, but there once again, is a reason for everything, and I'm going to get into Ooh, this that. this is so good. I know. I, I, I know, know this is so good, and it's so hard to just give a little taste because it's so exciting. Um, cause as you just, I'm just, I'm just trying to hold myself still in my seat because this is so good. And and you just talk about how you had to go and get the lamb, but God, but it was always a foreshadow of Jesus, right? The Everything lamb, to him, right? the lamb. And so you had to bring the lamb in what fourteen days mm -hmm. prior, right? And you and you got to you had, you named the lamb. Mm -hmm. And you begin to love the lamb. Yes. And then the kids played with it. Yes. They became their pet. So part of the family. Mm -hmm. And then <laughs> you had to kill the lamb. Yeah. And so this was the foreshadow of what the lamb, Jesus, the lamb. Of God, the lamb that he would do this once and for all, and it would be completed. And we wouldn't have to could we wouldn't have to do that in that manner. But now we we do it as a com, as we commemorate this exciting and powerful move when God brought his mm -hmm. people out of Egypt with power, with might. And so we're excited as so we commemorate this. And also as we're commemorating this, what God did for his people, we are reminded of our Egypt, of those places that we yes. are not yes. free in, Indeed. and that God can do it for us even now. And so it's just not thinking about what God did, but what he is doing and what he will do. And that's yes, powerful. That's, yes. that, is, that is powerful <laughs> right there. And that see, is. you guys might be wondering, like, okay, because mm -hmm. I know on Friday we will be doing an actual Savior. Yes. Sorry, guys, it is private yes. unless you are a part of Behold and you're allowed <laughs> to be a part of that, but it is private. Well, um, I think we might pop up a little bit and let them show. You think it. so? Yeah, you maybe. Might let them see a little bit. A little bit prior, a prior yeah. to what we All do. Right. So you can just see the us really just set the table. So um, a pop up for Friday. Pop be up. looking out. Look out. Look out. So <laughs> here's the key, and you guys might be saying, like, why are you doing this? Mm -hmm. We don't have to do this. We, we don't. don't do but when you look mm -hmm. at it, I just want to, when you go to the uh, we're also in that 12th chapter. I was about to say Genesis again. In the 12th <laughs> chapter of Exodus. Exodus. <laughs> uh, <laughs> in the 12th chapter of Exodus. Uh, it states that he said that we are to continue to do this. This is a law. Right. This is something that God said, I am requiring that of you lit. from generation right, to, to generation. generation. Yeah. So it becomes important that we are to remember. Mm -hmm. And it's like when you are so busy and you're doing stuff, you tend to forget about just how good God mm -hmm. is to you. You tend to forget about just all his blessings. They like, he's like, remember this, keep mm -hmm. this, 
hold on to this. And we are to remember that there were so many things that happened during this time that God was miracle after miracle yes. after miracle Come after on. miracle. And this was during the time, if I do remember, the, the month of Nisan, which means miracle. So there were a lot of things that were happening that God was doing. And do you think by chance that God is just doing stuff just mm. to be doing it? Mm. There is no Hebrew word for what? Coincidence. Coincidence. Yes. Everything yes. is appointed by God. Yes. So if he is telling us to remember this, that yes. means that he is doing something for us. Yes. He is opening up a door. He is opening up a window. And any time that the people missed this, there were consequences for them. They missed out on an appointed time. So just imagine. Mm -hmm. You know, God is meeting with you and he's God 365. Yes. All the time. But he says, you know what? I got a special day for you, son and daughter. Mm. I want you to remember just what I've done and just how special you are to me. Yes, so yes. A lot of times people forget that God loves us so much, that Jesus loves us mm. so much. That there's nothing that he would just hold yeah. back from us. That's why Jesus came. I mean, he, he didn't withhold no good thing back, back from us. From us. And yeah. during this time, when we think about what he was setting up um, for us, it just, it just changed mm -hmm. and moved everything. So during this time, and I'm probably going out of my you know, slides or whatever we got here, you know, you just get so excited with everything that's going on. And I just began to talk, but I like when we were talking about the lamb. Mm -hmm. See, uh, he was the lamb yes. that became our lamb yes. and he is the lamb. So he was, he, when he, when Jesus came, he said, I didn't come to do away with the law. Mm -hmm. So okay. when, when, when this was mentioned in Exodus 12, 14, he said, this is law. And Jesus said, I didn't come to do away with this, but I came to make it better. Yeah. I came to fulfill, fulfill it. it. And this is what Jesus did when it came to Passover. Yeah. He fulfilled it. it. He brought more meaning to it. He made it more meaningful. He made it, he, he you know, he showed us. He, 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 he was the example of it. He and, and see, and that's the thing we have to understand. Jesus did. <laughs> Jesus did this. The, Jesus kept this because he understood that this wasn't just a Jewish Man, thing. On, this on, wasn't just a thing that when he came, uh, but this was God. This was God's thing. And God said, this is mine. This is my appointed time. This is mine. Uh, these are my this, feasts. These are mine. And, and, and to keep this perpetually. So, perpetually. so let, let me add to that. So, yeah. it's not a Jewish thing, is no. it? No. It's not a Gentile thing, is no. it? No. It's a, it's a God thing. It's a God it's thing. It's a God thing. It's a God thing. <laughs> it's, it's, it's godly. I need to put that on the shirt. Right. It's, it's godly. godly. It, it's godly. And, and so we want to, but the thing is what, so let's, let's just break it down like this. Okay. So, do you have to do it? No. no. But you get to do it. And I want to do it, okay, because there's a blessing in this. Now, God is going to bless us regardless because he takes care of us. Those that are watching now, those that will watch the broadcast, you have eyes, you can, you have eyesight to see, you, mm -hmm. you know, you have ears to hear and, and things like that. So we're blessed, we're blessed. You have life. His breath is in your body. However, you know, that's not all God has for us. Although that's great. Salvation is not all that God has for us. No. Even though that that's more than enough, right? If he didn't do anything else, right? That would be that would be just that would be great. That would be all we would need, right? But the thing is, God goes even deeper because of his love for him. It is his pleasure to give us the kingdom. It's it's, it's pleasurable for him. This is what he wants to do. He's looking for opportunities to bless us. And so through this, this mystery that God is allowing us to be blessed through this feast, through this, this fantastic feast of celebration of of this of Passover, um, Pesach, this time that you come together 
family and friends, the great Shabbat. And, and we feast and, and together and we fellowship and, and we sing songs and, and we just remember God's mighty words. And, and we come together. And so who doesn't want to do that? That's, that's wonderful, right? So what would be what would be the barrier for you doing that? I I don't know, but there's also the there's no in it. downside to that. I know it's you like are it's all remembering good. what God did. <laughs> no, it's so all good. So even like with porn, when we talked yes. about that, you're remembering what, what God, God did. did. And so we break it down in this way because we want more of the people to learn and to embrace it because you can begin there with that mindset, but then you'll see the blessing. It's a blessing in it. It's a, oh a way goodness. of getting closer to God. It's a way of, of truly understanding God even more so and, and going from glory to glory in mm, God. And, yes. and so now we're just giving you a little taste on tonight because it's this is just the it is it, it, it's just always it's such a I don't know it's just such a great opportunity and so I'm trying to look down at my few little notes I got a few little lines down here those that know me know I normally don't have a lot I'm always just looking down like I really got something um <laughs> I'm always like eh, is there something there for me to say but um. <laughs> But the thing is, it's just an awesome celebration again. And so we're just retelling the story of Exodus. Mm -hmm. um, during, and, and, and that's the Seder. The Seder is the retelling of the story of Exodus through a four, 14 steps. And, and so, and, and it's just, a, and it's fun, and everyone is involved, the, the, the kids are involved, yeah, you know. it's a every, family affair. Yeah, it's a family affair, and so it just brings the family close together, because God is just a relational God. He understands relationships, and he wants to be, you know, have a relationship with us, and so he wants us also to have meaningful relationships with <laughs> Our family, our loved ones, you know, yes. and, and, and friends and so forth. And so this just teaches us that it, it I mean, I just don't know. It's just so, it, I'm so excited about it. I've been preparing already <laughs> for Passover for some time now because I'm like, okay, um, because you're, you're, you're preparing the meal, the Seder meal, which is mm -hmm. so awesome. And then you get to just eat, you know, you know, some awesome food and things like that. But... They, you know, you get to eat a lot of different things, right? The only thing is kept from us is what? Um, bread or any food with leaven or any leaven food. And yeah. so let's go into that, Apostle. Why, um, you ready to go up into that? Why is no leaven? Why do we remove? And I love it. And, and so before you, you go, I just got, <laughs> wait, y'all, okay. I just want to say, because. It's so amazing. You're Wait, I know. Like, okay, it's calm down, calm down, Heels. Calm down, calm down. Come on, calm down, B and D. Um, B and D, like Heels. B and D. B and D, calm down. But we get so you know how during this time, uh, typically a lot of homes, a lot of families, they do spring cleaning, and so this kind of this comes from this. That, that comes from around this time when you feel like you want to clean, you know, you want to get everything out. And that's, it, it really began with this time of when we come, we prepare for Passover and we clean the house. We clean the home of anything that has leaven in it. And, and we remove it from our homes. Um, and it's symbolic. It's not like it's something bad, you know, like it, it, it will harm you or something. But it's just symbolic. Um, and uh, Apostle's going to talk about that. And then with the Seder meal, I love how some of the things, you know, how um, the world has taken it from this. Like you have the egg. And then during this time, you know, um, the Easter, they had the eggs and then they paint the eggs. Uh, and things like that. It's so, it's so, um, it's so interesting. Yeah, that the things that they have taken um, from it and kind of just watered it down. Just so we, you know, and then a lot of times we don't know because it's been watered down, it's been distorted in a sense, yeah. um, the meaning of things. And so we just want to, without all I get, we just want to get some understanding. So give us, give us an understanding, Apostle. 
You know what? No, no pressure. No pressure. <laughs> she just out of me. Yes. Ball, you know, real, That's what real. I do. That's <laughs> what I do. So, but, you know, before I really get into that, you know, just understanding uh, we connect everything to Jesus. Everything yes. that we do. Uh, and how can we call ourselves Christians? But mm. then we leave out the stuff that Christ did. Yeah. Uh, and that mm, becomes that's something good. that's so important. Uh, uh, Christ, of course, we know that he was a Jew. And everything that we are talking about are things that he did, that he partook, uh, took, partook of mm -hmm. uh, from a child mm -hmm. all the way up until uh, the uh, great Shabbat that he did uh, from that point in time with what they say is the Last Supper. So his last Seder that he had with mm -hmm. his disciples. Uh, and these are things that he did. If you look all through the Bible, it's in there about how Jesus, he came into Jerusalem. It was during the Passover season. Even yes. when he took upon other feasts, Come on, that's it's good. all Come on. throughout the mm -hmm. Bible of what Jesus did. But all of a sudden now, uh, we have developed a knowledge that we know so much that we don't need it yes. anymore. And it, it helps. It yes. helps solidify your understanding of your relationship yes. and how much God loves you and what he sent to you, to yes. save you, to help, Hallelujah. to heal. And every appointed time opens a different window. So as we're talking about these different things, as we're talking about Exodus, which was, of course, part of the Torah, Torah, uh. Uh, or <laughs> however you want yes. to say it, Torah. <laughs> but Torah means pathway. Yes. Uh, Come on. And as sheep, we get off the path yes. Yes. very easily. But he's saying that if you follow these things, if you follow these things that I have set before you, it will help navigate you yes. in this life. I've given you all the secrets. I've given you all the answers mm -hmm. to the test. And if you would just on, follow the, the word test. of the God, word of God mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. adhere to it. Yeah. Right. See, you know, we get to the smorgasbord and say, you know what? I want mashed potatoes, but I'm not doing the broccoli. Yeah. No. Mm -hmm. But I like broccoli. You like broccoli? Yeah. Some people might say, well, I'm going to take the steak, but I don't want the chicken. Mm. Mm -hmm. Or, but he said, I've set it all up for you. Yeah. I set this whole table up for you to eat at, to, to, to dine at, to come to, and it's to help you. Mm. And he was, uh, God, when he, when he spoke to us, he was always keen on the fact of remember, 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 remember. remember. You hear that so mm -hmm. much. Remember, he did not want us to forget, because he's yes. saying that if you understood this, this is a blessing that is going to be uncovered. He said, I will open up the mm. windows of heaven and pour you out a blessing that you do not have room to receive. And people think that it is tied to the tithe. The tithe was what was to protect hey, what you have. On. But the offerings, which we're mm. talking about Passover, we're yes. talking about Pentecost, we're talking about Sukkot. These open up the mm. windows of heaven mm. for God to pour you out pour a out. blessing. And this was part of the secret of the unlocking. Yes. So you Come know on. that the enemy did not want you to what? Continue to follow this. Mm -hmm. He wanted you to be off. He wanted yeah. you to be out of season, mm -hmm. out of time, and missing it mm -hmm. every single time. And as I said before, there was one time where uh, Passover was celebrated in one month and Easter was in another mm -hmm. and 90% and of the world was celebrating Passover in the wrong month yeah. altogether. But uh -huh. this is what happened and we began to talk about God's timing. But when you yeah. have an understanding of of this thing. Hallelujah. It opens up God's window for you. And we're saying to you, and behold, in BBD Hill Ministry, <laughs> behold too. Yes. We don't want you to miss this we don't want opportunity. You to miss it. Don't 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 miss it. So I know we were supposed to do with the unleavened. I'm gonna touch on that just a right. little no, no, don't worry about it. Oh, well, don't no, about they might they might want to hear that, but I don't know. Okay. What do y'all want to hear about the leaven? We might talk about that on Friday. When yeah, we pop okay. Up. That's what we're talking about. So we'll talk about the leaven on Friday when we pop up. So stay tuned because we will be coming on before sundown. Yes. Uh, to do our pop-up 
uh, you will actually see our spread. Uh, yeah. We have everything that we'll be doing uh, for our Seder. Uh, we go uh, with our church and we discuss and we have an actual Seder service yeah. uh, and have a great time. Uh, and it is something that I would advise if you could to do at home because how it involves your family. Yeah. See, God was so oh uh, set on not just you, mm -hmm. but your family. Your, family, your yeah. whole family is involved in the yeah. blessing. The, the whole family Family was involved with the process of the lamb when they brought the lamb into the house and when they had it Ooh. tied to the post and when mm. they had to kill the lamb it was all part of that process because of our sins the lamb mm. had mm. to be uh, 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 Jesus was the lamb that yeah. took away all of our sins Ooh. so it this was the setup this was the thing that God had put into place so if I, I could just talk about that lamb though go ahead, go ahead. Lamb, more lamb more lamb more lamb Eat more lamb. No. More. <laughs> but the lamb and so the blood and so as the um, shadowing of what Jesus' blood would do, it was put across the, the doorpost, right? Mm -hmm. And as a protection. And so now that's why we plead the blood. We plead the blood come on, come of on. Jesus yes, because yes, yes. it's a protector. It, it's a provide, you know, it provides, it, it, you know, it covers and things like that. And so the uh, God foreshadowed that with the the lamb that they brought into the homes. And then they had to slay the lambs. Um, and, and then they put the blood over the doorpost, y'all. Uh, and then what? The angel of death had to pass. Over yeah, that's and that's where the name from. that's where yeah, that's the, where it, came it comes from. from. Passover comes from when the death angel had to pass over during the tenth what plague that God had brought onto the Egyptians because Pharaoh blood. would not let his people go. So this shows you how far God would go to free his people. You, me. And so this is an exciting time to remember God's mighty mm -hmm. hand and his work and his protection, his provision in this season. Oh, and yeah. she, she, she had no idea. So this was said great because we're coming to a close. Yes. You know what? We can talk forever yes, uh, about just about this. this. But during Passover, Pesach. It opens up a window. There are three different windows that are open up within our year mm -hmm. that God does and provide things for. Yeah. So every window opens up different blessings. And during this time of Pesach, Passover, there are three things that God blesses us with. One of them, he blesses us with grace. grace. There is a special anointing of grace during this time. There's also a special anointing of what? Protection yes. that comes during this Come time. On. And then last but not least, there is also a special anointing of Favor that comes in here. So once again, grace. grace. God gives us a special, special, special grace during this time. And it just, I mean, when you think about just grace, amazing grace, mm -hmm. supernatural grace. This is what is bestowed upon us during this time. And we talk about the protection as in our uh, brothers and sisters were protected during this time. Mm. We talk about the blood over the post where the deaf angel did not come in. We talk about the plagues not affecting our yeah. Jewish brothers and sisters, but only affecting God the Egyptian. People. That was the actual protection. And when we think about the actual favor, what happened during this time? When that deaf angel hit, those people, the Egyptians, they went to Pharaoh let get them get out, out of here. here. Make kick them out. And out. then that's yeah. when there was a and I wasn't gonna do this, but I'm gonna add just a little bit in here. That's when there was a transfer of wealth yeah, that happened. So when we <laughs> think about this, the grace, the protection, the favor, favor. There was a transfer of wealth because they blessed them with more, almost more than what they could hold right. leaving mm -hmm. out of there. Yeah. So when they left out of e Egypt, they took a major percentage of wealth from them when they left. Yes. We're talking about the end time transfer of wealth right now for God's 
people. This is what he's doing. Yes, he is setting glory. us up. There are a lot of businessmen and businesswomen and business-minded families that he's saying, come on, push forward into this move. Don't hold back. I've given you the secrets. I've mm. shown you how to be successful. Yes. Amen. But once again, this is that window yes. of grace, protection, protection and, and favor. favor. And favor. I mean, the word tells us it's as if the um, Israelites, they plundered the Egyptians. That's how much they were giving them. It was I a mean, stock market. They didn't it have to crash. steal it. They didn't have to beg for it. They didn't have to um deceive for it they gave it to them do you hear they gave it to them freely and see <laughs> just to add to that so when they talk about the firstborn that were impacted mm. with that the firstborn were the ones back then that got the double portion mm. they got more than the other ones and they were the ones on, that was running on. the actual businesses they were running the family businesses so they were a lot of the ones that were keeping uh, the Jewish brothers and sisters enslaved. Mm -hmm. They didn't want them to leave Come until on. Well, Come on. that firstborn was gone. So when they were gone, it changed everything. It mm -hmm. was like, so their businesses, all that stuff was impacted with mm -hmm. the death angel. But guess what? God's people Ooh. was protected. Yes. There was special favor because they were given so much before they left. And just the grace of God was upon them. That he blessed them yes. beyond measure. Come on. And this is that same window the that same is window. open. The same window that is open for us today. And that's what we're saying. Yes. Please Come on. Don't, don't miss, miss it. it. Do not Come miss on. it. This, we are the neon sign that's saying, <laughs> blink it. Don't miss it. <laughs> the time is now. Wow. Okay. Get ready. Get ready. Get ready. So as we uh, get ready to come to a close of this, because we didn't want to just overload you guys with too yes. much. Uh, we know that we gave you a lot of information on today, but uh, this is a time that uh, these three appointed times where God says that you are to go to a designated place and that you are to what pro provide your first, your first fruit offering, to provide your offering before the Lord. And so if there are individuals over here that would, number one, like to be a blessing to this ministry, uh, please, uh, if, if this has blessed you, if we have opened up your mind to, under, to understand of the first fruits, please let this be an opportunity for you to present your first fruit offering unto the Lord and to present it to him so that he said that I will bless your going and your coming. So do not miss this opportunity Amen. to bless, to be number one where God has told you to be, to follow his instructions step by step. Remember, we talked about the Torah meaning pathway, understanding the pathway to get to God, to understanding the pathway that we follow because we follow Jesus and Jesus always pointed toward God. Yes. He said, I am about my father's business. He always pointed toward him. So we're saying during this time is that if you want to present your first fruit offering to BBD Hill Ministry, you can do so. We're not those type of people that's going to tell you a certain amount of what you should give. That's between you and God. There is no such thing that we're doing as far as, a, I see churches do $50 and see No, whatever it is that God tells you that you want to do as a first fruit offering, it's unto the Lord. It's not unto us. We're just a vessel that's being blessed by your obedience, but it's unto the Lord that you are doing this. And keep in mind, this is a window. So every first fruit offering that we receive, every uh, offering that is presented, we will pray over that on your behalf. Uh, that God will restore it yes. to you Amen. as he see fit. And we don't want to put limitations on it. We say 30, 60, 100 yes. fold, 100 yes. fold being unlimited. But we do not want to put a limitation on what God is going to return to you for your obedience, for you walking in faith. Amen. And we don't want you to miss that. Amen. 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 And, and so with that, um, just if the Lord is um, leading you to be a blessing, be a blessing. And wherever the Lord leads you to be a blessing, be a blessing there. Oh, okay. And, and, and like Apostle said, do it as unto the Lord um, and you will be blessed. 
and God God leads us, you know, and we don't have to lean on our own understanding, no. even in that. In all our ways, we can acknowledge him and he will direct our paths. And so we just we we just encourage you to be obedient if the you know if the Lord is leading you, um, if you were blessed by this word, if you if God provided you, um, you know something that you didn't know and and revelation that you didn't know and and to so into BBD Hill Ministries that we may continue to bring the revelation so we may continue to build upon and we may continue to expand so we can bring it this word and this revelation and these mysteries to the world to you know all nations because all people need to um know this all there's so many people that didn't don't that do not know about this and god wants them to know and we know that it takes finances it takes natural means as well as spiritual means to do things so we just thank you for that and you'll see the methods of giving on the screen and how you can sow through cash app at d at bbd heal and then zill you got it right this time yeah i'm i'm like i'm I'm making sure, like, wait a minute, is this right? Okay, yes, I'm right this time. And so you'll see that. And then also, um, we have PayPal as well. And so we try to make it convenient for you. And then those that may want to send in a check, um, we also have our address. Or cash. Uh, or, or cash, do mail. <laughs> like, I mean, some people do. Mm -hmm. uh, so and our address is BBD Heal Ministries. 21200 South LaGrange Road, um, number 362, Frankfurt, Illinois, 60423-1136. And so also that should be on the screen. And we just want, I mean, we want to be able to continue to bring these messages to you all. And we know, you know, um, and if you and if you wanted to and, and you just couldn't, or even if you just wanted to give us some type of feedback on how you felt about the word. We 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 encourage you yes. to do that. And so you'll you can stay connected with us um through Facebook um at um BBD Heal Ministries and then follow us on Instagram um BBD Heal Ministries as well. Okay. And just give us send us some message. Let us know uh, if you uh, yes. if we were a blessing to you and and if you have any testimonies or if there's something more that you know you may um, you it made you to inquire maybe we can you know I don't know whatever the Lord leads you we just want to stay connected and we want to see how the Lord is blessing uh, that that would be an encouragement to us so we just we're, we're just grateful for you guys just hanging out with us. Make sure you to share this out, share, share, share this out. Um, and for those that may watch the re the rebroadcast because you weren't able to watch it or you just didn't know want us to know you were watching, that's 